and welcome my friends to another video from the Moonlight Nomad here and today we're going to be talking about Destiny 2! Destiny 2 everybody! Destiny 2! Yeah it's pretty much everywhere at the minute and to be honest I'm so excited especially with the beta literally like probably just over a week away now it comes out on the 18th of July for PS4 19th for Xbox and then I think it's the 21st for uh, everyone else for an open beta so I've already pre-ordered the game so I get early access boop boop so I'm really looking forward to this this is going to be awesome uh, I was a really big fan of Destiny 1 I used to play that a lot I'd probably play it now but not as much There's, it's gone a bit stale at the minute to be honest because obviously they're putting everything towards getting Destiny 2 out which is fine for me because if, if it's anything like Destiny 1, I'm going to be losing pretty much um, a good few thousand hours into this as well as I did Destiny 1. Now they promised it would be bigger and better this time than in Destiny 1. So I'm going to go through the top 6 reasons why I'm looking forward to it. Obviously if there's anything I've missed or anything you want to say about the video or anything you you're looking forward to in destiny 2 please like and comment in the bottom and obviously share with your friends at the end of the video so without further ado let's get into this baby so destiny 2 is for old players and new players alike so there'll be certain aspects of the game that previous vanilla destiny players uh, will enjoy so that's going to be excellent because that'll be me obviously I had it on the Xbox first and then I moved to the PS4 so now I'm solely going to be on the PS4 with the new Destiny 2 game when that comes out so what's great about Destiny 2 is that new players will be introduced to all new things and even the old players will get introduced to new things but still have its similarities to Destiny 1. But there's going to be more story in this one. Uh, bigger story, I think there's going to be side quests as well but we'll go into that a bit, a bit later on in the video. Obviously a good thing about like it being a brand new game and for older new players is that we will all start from the beginning. Obviously whoever's played Destiny 1 like myself will have a... a an upper hand or an advantage with the dynamics and mechanics of destiny so that we could probably if we've got people that are buying destiny 2 for the first time and playing it and never played destiny 1 you know it, it's good to have that sort of mixture of people colliding together and helping each other with it so i think i think that'll be really good and also i'm hoping that destiny 2 will revive a lot of good stuff and encourage people that have given it a lot of hate from the first game to try it out and you know it because it, it's the same game but it's not there are certain things in it that aren't in destiny one and they've basically just taken destiny one and stretched it out and um, just put more content and stuff into it that I reckon people will enjoy and that's what I like about it I mean they've listened to fans because obviously the community for Destiny is absolutely insanely massive and they, they've obviously got in touch with Bungie and just said look we're not happy with this this and this how how are you going to sort this out and obviously they've done little bits for uh, Destiny 1 but I think they were more keeping it aside for Destiny 2. So when that drops, they're gonna just—it's just gonna blow everyone's mind, and everyone's just gonna be insanely happy with whatever they've come out with. And I'm excited to see what they've done with the whole um, listening to the fans and, and to see what they've come up with. So if you are a Destiny 2 noob, then if you've got a friend that's already played Destiny and enjoyed that, then partner up with them because they'll take you through uh, different mechanics and obviously if they've watched all the gameplay trailers already then you know you're at an advantage already so you know if you've, you've if you've got a friend that you can play destiny 2 with do that it will help you out a lot so we'll move on to our next category 
So in Destiny 2, we've got a new social space, and it's called The Farm. Now, in Destiny 1, obviously we had the tower, but thanks to that damn Gary, it's been demolished. So we've now had to relocate and recover. Uh, the vanguards have obviously gone to their own little places, so we'll find that out later. So for now, we've got our, obviously, bog-standard cryptarchs, postmaster, and chickens. And we also have a little bit of wind down. We can we can play a bit of football or soccer if you're in the US. And it it's just fun. It's just fun where you can meet up with other guardians that have obviously had gone out and fought their battles and completed their missions and come back to you know unwind and grab all their cool stuff that they've just got but their inv inventory has fall so you have to go to postmaster and obviously go to your cryptarch to un un uh, encrypt your engrams to see what new cool gear you've got from your engrams and that's what i liked about destiny one like when i first got it like there was more of that excitement every time you got an engram like finding a blue back in the day like a blue engram was like you'd struck gold i mean if you found a legendary you you like practically wet yourself because it was it was just great to feel that you've got that and then you can go back to your tower and hand it in and then get something really crap because obviously back then you could uh, you could get a rare from a legendary, which is obviously like heartbreaking. You just found this purple, and you're just like, "Yes, come on, let's go!" And then it just turns out to be some blue weapon that you won't even use, and you just dismantled it. So it it it, it was quite an exciting time as well as a, a disappointing time. So the new social space looks pretty cool actually, and you can just go straight to missions from there. So you don't obviously have to go to orbit and come back, you know, all that kind of jazz. So you just go straight to your missions. So I'm really excited for that. So with Destiny 2, it brings a whole new story to the the game. And it, it feels a lot more real, I guess. It's a lot it's a lot different to Destiny 1. This one actually feels like it could have several different branches of story going into one massive finale sort of thing. So that would be quite amazing, I think. And definitely an improvement from Destiny 1. Obviously Lost Sectors are... I'm going to call them dungeons. Because what you need to do is... They'll be in a certain area on your map. It will highlight on your map. Uh, you'll go around there and you'll have to find like a marking on either a wall or a rock or just something near the location and you go down into like underground you, you have to fight enemies and a boss you get a key and there's treasure in there and you have to open the treasure with the key so it's essentially a dungeon and that's pretty cool because we've not really had anything like that in destiny and obviously it opens up more missions, more stuff to do. Because in Destiny 1, there was a... Like, once you complete the story, then you had to grind forever. So you were ready for the raids and strikes and nightfalls. And, and, and they were pretty tough um, back in the day. I remember the nightfalls where, like, basically if, if your whole team died, it didn't matter where you were in the nightfall... That was it. You had to go back to orbit and start all over again. I, I kind of missed that, to be fair. I mean, that was a really good idea. Uh, obviously, people thought it was a bit unfair, so they've changed it now. But yeah, I, I mean, that's. I'm hoping it's similar to 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 that. I guess uh, a lost sector, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be looking forward to that. Obviously, we've got four new planets to explore. Well, I say four new planets. I mean, Earth is still there. It's just a different part. So we're going to be in the European Dead Zone, that'll be on Earth. Titan, which is obviously one of Saturn's moons. Io and Nessus. And they're all looking pretty beautiful and they're, they're bigger. We've been told that the maps are bigger for them. So it, it gives us more more um, room to explore. And def and I'm, I like to explore in games. I like to check out what, oh, what's over there? You know, oh, what's over there? Is there something over here that I can find or open or kill? Or, you know, just little secrets dotted about as well. I mean, it, it makes the game fun. And uh, that was lacking in Destiny 1. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what they've done with this and how big the worlds are. 
and it yeah it's it's going to be a nice little story i think so let's let's hold out that it's going to be everything we've wanted and everything we've been told it's going to be Paddy games is a pretty cool um, concept from De uh, bungie i mean like back in destiny 1 like i find it so difficult to try and find teams and obviously it was harder because obviously like i had friends who had the game but trying to get six people on to do a raid or you know even three people to do a nightfall was it was pretty difficult because obviously everyone had their own stuff to be doing and then i'd be on when when they're not and then they'd be on when i'm not and you just end up missing each other half the time and then obviously finding other people to do it with was was quite hard and i feel like in guided games the that brings a sort of matchmaking uh, to it i mean luke smith said that um, he was obviously the game director for destiny 2 said that 50 percent of people had, had completed the raid like that's half the amount of people that play destiny had actually completed a raid because i'm assuming it'd be because they, they had trouble finding people or they had a clan or a group of people that were never on at the same time. It's just, just dead difficult. And Guided Games brings that sort of like closeness and you can find people that are, that are looking for, you know, to do the raid or a nightfall and you're missing one person or two people or whatever it takes. And, and, and it just collides with that together. And I think that's a really cool thing to do. So it's more in game now rather than going on the laptop or your phone and trying to find people to do this sort of thing with. It'd be a lot easier and a lot more convenient for you, and 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 that's cool. I like that concept. And obviously, you can create your own clans as well. You can bring your own your clan from Destiny One over to Destiny Two. So I think that's pretty cool. So you can keep the same clan, keep the same group together. Obviously, if you're looking to create a clan in Destiny 2, then, then go right ahead. That You can create your own banners and stuff like that and descriptions and see, uh, invite people that you want in and maybe help new people or try and get... So, basically, I, I'm not a PvP guy. I might have mentioned this before. So, and obviously, if you find like people that do love PvP, and that there are people out there that do, and that, that's perfectly all right. And I like the fact that clan rewards are a thing. And like, even if you don't play PvP, you still get rewards for your team or your clan going out and doing these sort of activities. And obviously, if there's PvP players that don't really like playing PvP, sorry, um, obviously it works the same way. And they can get rewards and you help each other. And that's a brilliant, brilliant thing to do. And it brings the community together. And I, I you know, if you're shy or new to Destiny 2, I suggest you go out there mingle with people find new people to do stuff with you know don't be shy go out people will be more than accepting obviously you do get your idiot who doesn't who's very competitive that's fine you know if you're a competitive gamer that's fine no problem with that i'm a casual gamer i like to do things in my own time i'm not competitive at all so that i mean if that's what you like then do it go out there meet people don't be shy <laughs> So they have officially announced that we are getting a fifth raid. Now obviously there's four in Destiny 1 and this will be number five. Now they've promised it will be a bit different to the last four. They've not told us much information about this. But it's just great knowing that there is another one coming and they're not, you know, uh, you can just get a, a, a good bunch of six guys or girls um, and just, just pummel into this new raid and that they're not, everything's new. So you're going to be a bit like, oh, oh, you know, how do I do this? And, you know, it's going to take you a few tries to do it. And it's it's just fun. You know, and a lot of people have fun doing raids. I mean, obviously, it gets a bit frustrating, obviously, once you've done it a while and you can't, you're not going anywhere. And it's it's just frustrating in that sort of sense. But it's fun because you get to meet new people as well. And obviously, you can be invited to their clan or, you know, you could just help them. Uh, through this one one thing and then they never have to speak to you again if you if you're not not a social kind of guy then you know this will be a bit weird for you but yeah brand new raid bring it on let's go 
and last but not least, the subclasses. Now, I'm really excited for this, because obviously I play as a Titan. In the first one, obviously, I, I did like all the subclasses. I thought my least favourite was probably the Striker, just because it didn't have that kind of maneuverability. Like, you literally had to just hope for a, a circle of, like, enemies and just power the, you know, the crap out of them. But now, like... The new subclass for the Striker Titan, you can move now. You can do it more than once. And I think that's going to be pretty cool because you're not stuck in one area. You could, like, the amount of times you've wasted the super trying to hit something and it's just not not worked at all. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to probably be playing a lot, a lot with that subclass. I mean, the other subclasses for the Titan, uh, not the Titan, sorry, the Warlock and the Hunter look pretty good as well especially the dawn blade and i know there's a lot of warlocks out there that are, are pretty psyched for this and you know it does look pretty cool and i'm probably going to have all three characters again so i'm going to have a um, a warlock hunter and a titan so i'm going to be experiencing it all and I'm, I'm really looking forward to that now obviously titan isn't everyone's favorite but i've heard a lot of people especially at work Speaking that like they're gonna probably try the Titan, just for the whole Marvel factor of it all, uh, being the Captain Titan, that is now named. <laughs> I don't know if it's uh, a trademark name, but I I'm I'm using it. I'm gonna use it, because that's gonna be awesome. So obviously that brings our video to a close today. I know I've been rambling a fair amount in this video, and I apologize for this, but I'm just so excited for this game. And I'm going to be doing quite a few videos when the beta drops. I'm probably going to be doing like a first reaction uh, to the game once it's downloaded and I'm able to play it. So I'm really looking forward to that. Obviously I want to give a special shout out to Scott West Music. Who created my outro and intro for me. So thank you very much for that. You can check him out. I will leave a link in the description for you to check him out he's a really good guy and he's, he's done my music for me and he's done a great job so thank you again for that obviously i want to thank everyone else who's supported me through this video and everyone who's liked and shared my video and tweeted and everything so thank you very much so i'm going to stop rambling there so if you did like this video please like and share and comment in the bottom that would be great you can also follow me on twitter instagram and twitch I'll leave the links below. So thank you very much. Take care and stay tuned. Bye-bye.